morning. It is Tuesday and I am up and washed. I need to fix my hair. I might even put makeup on today. It'll make my face look a bit nicer. Um, I will talk about this later but it's so cozy. It's just finished um, so I'm very excited. So I am going to open up my advents for day two and then get started with work. Ooh. Wednesday midweek, nearly there. specimen is Nova. Say hi Nova. Nova is the more stereotypical of the kittens. Well they're not kittens anymore, they're cats. And now I'm gonna have to lint roll these jeans because there's fluff all over them. Thanks Nova Pants. Um, Nova is very uh, regal and self-entitled and demands the lap. Don't you know that? You don't care what's happening. She's a cutie. Pip is more, um, is more of a quirky character. That was just your average run-of-the-mill majestic cat. Leave me alone, mother. Ah, that was a long day. The day just completely got away from me. Um, yeah, it was, um, it was just one of them days. Going to have a little sit down because my legs are really sore from the gym. Oh, um, yeah. So I think I'm. I think you're sideways now. Oh, really there you are. Um, yes. So I'm, I have no makeup on, as you can see. I didn't get around to anything. I didn't get around to going for a walk at lunchtime, which I was planning on doing. And I am now just finished my dinner. Finished work headache because I didn't sleep great last night. It's just all going wrong to be honest guys. <laughs> um, it was fine, today is fine, it's just one of them days, some days um, are worse than others. I wanted to talk about my Tecumseh, this is a new jumper that I finished um, and it is by Caitlin Hunter, I'm boiling to knit works. I don't know why I keep doing that voice. Um, but yeah, it is quite oversized. I did it with a lot less ease than what was indicated in the pattern because this kind of shape generally doesn't suit me, but I actually love it. It's so cozy. And this yarn is gorgeous. This is Rauma. Um, and it's proper woolly wool, but I've washed it and blocked it and it is a dream. Now, one of my sleeves is a bit baggier at the cuff than I would like. I did do the decreases, but I would have liked, you know, to be a little bit more tight at the cuff. This one's not as, seems to go in a bit more. Um, but uh, I'm perfectly happy with it. And it's kind of a lot more drapey since I washed it. Uh, the, the yarn definitely bloomed, which is good. Um, I'm gonna show you my pinwheel scrap blanket. It's blankety. So um, I kind of, I've shown some of the yarns. I'm sitting on the bowl. Oh no, I'm sitting on something else. 
um, yeah, here it is. So um, I've kind of gone with a kind of pastel type theme for this block and I'm going to, I have a darker, so I did day one of my um, homespun house in a different block. But so the homespun house is 20 gram minis. So I've, a, I've finished my uh, triangle and I've loads left. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I was looking at um, the lovely Hannah of the Corner of Craft um, and she's doing these adorable little tiny jumpers. So I could make a garland tiny jumpers out of my homespun house minis because there's considerably a lot of yarn. Or I was contemplating making a magic knot ball and just making a big cowl or just a magic knot ball and making another blanket. But I think I really do like the tiny jumpers. And she's making little hangers and everything. It's very cute. Um, yeah, so I've been so enjoying everyone's Vlogmases day one. I have some of my favorites and I'm on the lookout for some new ones as always. So I always watch Hannah and Jacqueline of Brooklyn Knit Folk, Julie of Sweet Sparrow, uh, Grace, um, Babbles Traveling Yarns, Ellie from Skein Deer, uh, So Sweet Violet. Um, yep, I think that's my, they're my sick, oh, uh, Opera Joe, uh, Stitching the High Notes. They're my go-to seven. <laughs> uh, Full and Vine, uh, Homespun House, actually I have nine. So I may as well round out and make 10. So um, if you're watching any lovely Vlogmases that you're really particularly enjoying, um, do leave some comments down below as to which ones you're enjoying. Uh, I think it's just really nice. It feels like you're catching up with people that you haven't seen in years. Um, and it just feels like a bit of connection with people in this year where we haven't been very connected. So I think it's lovely. Um, this evening I am gonna finish off knitting on my blanket and then I'm going to Where's my dad? He's very loud. I'll be back. Oh, I can't remember what I was saying. Um, yeah, so this evening I will continue to knit. And yes, I was telling you about my family movie night. So I have two sisters. One is 21 and the other is 14. So there's a lot of gaps between us. And we were sitting around at breakfast uh, a couple of weeks ago and we mentioned um, a film, I can't remember what one it was in particular, but that we had seen and that we liked. And Sophia, who's the youngest, had never seen it. And as, it, as we continued, we realized she hadn't seen hardly any films. So I think, so I've seen, I used to, I kind of grew up in the, the renting of videos and films from the, you know, the rental stores, um, Extra Vision and things like that and Blockbuster type things. Um, so I used to get a, f a, a video every weekend and have like movies. So I've seen so many movies. And then Jessica, who is my next sister, she is uh, 21 and she just has a real interest in movie and cinema. So I think she, you know, took it on herself to watch a lot of films. Whereas Sophia doesn't really have that. So what we did was we wrote down a list of films that we all liked. Um, some like So I picked a few that were my favourites that she hadn't seen and my dad and my mom and Jess did all the same. And we picked one out every day to watch it over the course of December. So, um, so far we have watched Mannequin, um, which is an 80s, extravaganza of craziness um mannequin then the shawshank redemption and then last night we watched meet the parents uh which was quite funny and this night uh, tonight we're watching rain man with justin hoffman and tom cruise so we kind of said you know december's a busy time for everyone we might not all be home at one well a lot of us are home but we most of us work so um, some some days we may not be able to participate but Sophia someone will have to watch the film with Sophia um, and it's just nice we made popcorn last night and had some snacks and just yeah, all sat down together in the sitting room which we don't do very often we all kind of um, spend you know a bit of time 
in our rooms alone kind of watching TV and things and you know it, we would, wouldn't really all necessarily sit all five of us down um, at the same time. We usually do for dinner um, if my dad is home from work we'd, we'd have dinner together most evenings um, but like Jess is back in work now she works in a shop in the shopping centre that's near here so she's kind of back working um, now that the shops are back open so um, she's not here as much of the time as she usually is so she didn't enjoy the film last night but I think she should be home this evening. Um, but yeah it's just something nice to do and um, they're not there's a couple of Christmassy films most likely not they're just kind of regular ones that you think people would have seen and they never have so um, I'll I'll let you know what we're watching each day as a little uh, thing to talk about as well. <sighs> yeah so I am going to make myself a cup of tea I think and I saw that there was a few more episodes of Vlogmas's released um, while I was having my dinner. So I'm going to watch them and do some knitting and then um, in the next hour or so we'll set up uh, for movie night. <laughs> She looks a little bit cross-eyed. Um, don't you pippy pie? So this is a very rare occurrence for her to sit on my lap of her own free will. Um, my dad, she's a bit afraid of my dad. Um, she doesn't really particularly like men. <laughs> um, so she's a little bit afraid of him and he shouted at her because she was crying to go outside and it's a bit late and dark so we, we didn't let her out so she came for a bit of comfort <laughs> but um she's uh not as affectionate as nova is and she's just a little bit special aren't she pip pippy i think she's just a bit of a scaredy cat aren't you and she needs minding. Yes. Yes, you do. Say hi to your adoring public. 